Well, it's time to go game hunting again. But rather than focusing on quantity of games, I figured this week let's uh, try to plug some holes in my collection. Try to complete some series. Maybe find some better copies. Let's see what we can do. This is the Bargain Game Hunter. Friday and it's my usual go grocery shopping and then uh, I have to go to the post office sort of day. So rather than going to the usual places and just doing the usual thing, I figured, you know what, let's try to plug some holes in my collection. I've got a number of series that I haven't completed. I have been slowly but surely completing them though, like when I got Shenmue 3 from Walmart and then I got Shenmue 1 and 2. I actually completed another series in this video and you'll see which one. In a little bit but i figured let's let's try to complete some of the series that i've acquired games for over the past few weeks but haven't quite completed so two of the main ones we're going to be looking for are far cry 5 and fear on the xbox 360. far cry 5 is the only far cry game i do not own i own all the other ones apparently except for six which is now yet and then fear I had the second one along for a long time. I just got the third one. So now it'd be nice to track down the original. Then I'll have all three of those. So let's head to our first location, which is Walmart. Look around, see if there's anything good. Probably not, but you never know. And then uh, probably head to the ponds and a few other places. So let's so remember how I originally said I wanted to do quality, not quantity? Changed my mind because remember how I always said that my Walmart doesn't really have any good deals? Well, <laughs> They have good deals. I have a cart full of games and I cannot wait to show you what the price is for these games. So one I did pick up and I'm not sure I'm gonna keep yet is Far Cry 5 on the Xbox One. So they have this new for 20, which is not bad. That's about the going rate for this game, but there is a pawn shop that has it for 15 and I might be able to negotiate it down. I'm not sure yet, but I might just pick it up new just so I have a new copy. My Walmart has some gems and I'm not done hunting yet. I'm gonna keep searching to find more stuff. So one of the tips that I mentioned before was use the Walmart app to scan games, uh, especially games that are on clearance because they might be cheaper than you think they are. Here's why. So as you can see, I have found the mythical three cent games at Walmart. And games are three cents only if they're like really trying to clearance them out. More than likely they're games that have been sitting on the shelf for a long period of time and they just really want to get rid of them. I rarely get lucky. So I'm quite excited the fact that I'm able to find games that are that cheap. So I'm going to take another quick look around and make sure there's nothing else, no other hidden gems, but I got a haul. And I'm gonna show you that haul when I get out of Walmart. But oh boy, I got some gems. I hit a jackpot. So that was one of the biggest twists slash unfortunate situations I've ever come across. So as you saw, and as I demonstrated, I found a huge pile of games that were scanning at my Walmart for a total of three cents each. And I figured, oh man, I hit the jackpot. So I went up to purchase all those games, along with a couple other ones that I found for fairly cheap. And they kept taking them and saying, oh, they're, they're recalled. So we have to send them back to the manufacturer. What? Those games have been sitting on the shelf for months and they just weren't selling. Why are you, now that they're scanning for three cents, you're just like, oh, we, we can't sell them to you. That's the first time I've ever been refused purchase of a item at Walmart. That's, that's really strange. Uh, I ended up talking to customer service at the front. They just explained like the system won't let them sell them if they're recalled. It was a dumb situation. I definitely am frustrated because that would have been such a huge score to get that many games for that cheap, but there's literally nothing I can do about it. So that's unfortunate. I did pick up a few games though, and two of them actually did scan at three cents 
and I was able to purchase them. So the first one, of course, is Monster Energy Motocross 2 on the Xbox One. This one is the one game that they scanned that actually came up at three cents and they allowed me to purchase it. And I happened to find two copies. So I did get that. I'm gonna keep one and I'm gonna flip the other one. So that's something. Next we have Citadel uh, Forged with Fire. It's apparently an RPG on the PS4. It's $11. It's been there for a while. I've thought about picking it up. I hadn't like actually looked at the back of the box and found out information about it. it looks decent. So I figured, you know, 11 bucks, might as well. And then I thought about waiting to pick this up until I check out the pawn shops to see if I can find it cheaper. But I figured I was already there and it's a new copy. So I got Far Cry 5 on the Xbox One. So now I do have a complete set of Far Cry games. I'm just super miffed that I had piles of three cent games and I couldn't buy any of them. <laughs> that sucks. At least I got two and I got a couple other good games to add to the collection, but man, that, that really puts a damper on my day. Well, after that pretty terrible experience at Walmart and losing out on all those games, figured I'd try to fix my day by going back to the ponds. I'm on this side of town anyway, so I figured, you know what? see if there's anything good. I'm gonna be a little bit pickier this time just because I don't need quantity. I'm mostly looking for quality and for games to fill holes in my collection. So let's take a look, see if we've got anything. I'm going to Cash America first. All right, I did pretty well in there. Uh, they did have some new games from last week. So I picked up a grand total of four, two of which are new-ish. And I think I paid a, a pretty good price for them. The other two are old, but I paid almost nothing. So I think I did solidly. First, we have Dark Souls 3 on the Xbox One. I only own the first Dark Souls uh, on Xbox 360. I don't own any of the other ones. Again, it kind of fills in a hole in a collection because I have the first one, but none of the other ones. So I have the third one now on the Xbox One. I paid 10 bucks, which I think is more than fair for Dark Souls 3. So pretty solid pickup, I think. Next up, and this one does kind of fill a hole in the collection because I got the first one last week from Value Pond. So why not pick up the sequel? We have Hitman 2 on the Xbox One. I picked up the first one for 10 bucks last week along with my Call of Duty haul. Uh, so now I have the second one. This one came out fairly recently. I think it was like a year or two old, so not that old. Also paid 10 bucks for it. I think that's a more than fair price. And again, we'll check the values when I get home, but I think I did well on that too. This one I picked up mostly because it's complete, it's in good condition, and I'm gonna keep this one as opposed to the one I already have in my collection, even though I paid less for it. Metal of Honor Warfighter on the 360. This one is in really good shape. The box is in good shape. It's got both discs, they're both very clean. It's got all the inserts. It's got everything. The one I got from GameStop, I paid a dollar for it, but it's just in a generic case and it doesn't even have spot for the two discs so i think i'm gonna keep this complete copy and that one i'll i don't know put in a mystery box or something obviously it's worth not much so i'll find a way to get rid of it and then last but certainly not least i picked this one up mostly because it's an original xbox game it's a good game and i got it for really cheap we have mx unleashed on the original xbox this game has been remade a whole bunch of times on the 360 on the xbox one on the ps4 now i have the og on the xbox Again, $2. I think that's a fair price. The disc is okay. It's not in amazing shape, but it should play. Overall, I paid about 24 bucks. Got four solid games. I think I did well. So now I'm gonna head across the street to Value Pond, see what they got. Uh, I'm gonna skip Queen of Pawns this week just because the last two times I went in there, I didn't like their prices. It's a bit high for what you're getting. And I might hit up La Familia on my way back, so. Two more pawn shops, and then we'll do a massive recap of everything they got today. All right, here we are, Value Pawn. See if they've got any more games. The last time I was here, I hit it pretty well, getting that Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Maybe I'll get lucky again. Let's see. 
All right, this one I think was a pretty successful round of negotiating. So I picked up two games and asked how much they were going for. Originally, they had one for eight, one for 10. So I was gonna put back the $10 one and they're like, well, how about eight and eight? I'm like, okay, sure. So I was gonna get two games for eight bucks, but one of the games they didn't have, uh, that was Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 on the Xbox One. They apparently didn't have the disc, but they had the case. So, so the guy was like, well, if you wanna take a look and see, maybe there's another game you'll want instead of this one. So I looked and I did find one. And that one I think I did pretty well because they had it priced at 18, which is a little less than what it's going for. But the case was trashed. Well, I was able to negotiate it down from 18 to eight. So I think I did pretty well on that. So the two games we picked up, first we got Mud Runner on Xbox One. It's a dirt racing game. This is a whole series. I haven't played any of them. We'll see if it's any good or not. Kind of an interesting little racing game to pick up. I mean, might as well. Eight bucks, I'm not complaining. And then the other game, which I think I did well, I did adjust the case a little bit, but it's still pretty trashed. So I might try to fix the case or get a new case for it, but we'll see. Uh, we have Final Fantasy XII The Zodiac Age on PS4. As you can see, they were originally asking for 18 and I got it for eight. So I think I did pretty well there. I've been looking at this game for a while. I actually almost picked it up earlier this week on uh, Switch for 20 bucks, but instead I picked it up on PS4 for eight. I'll take that. I'm gonna grab lunch now, head to one more pawn shop, and then we'll do a recap. All right, time for one last pawn shop and it's probably my favorite one, La Familia. So far, I've gotten pretty much all solid deals from this place. So let's head inside, see if they've got any other games that I could pick up. That was just kind of an odd situation. I'm not 100% sure what happened, uh, but I was waiting to check out with these games that I picked out and it took a really long time. Uh, the, the main person was helping another customer and eventually one of the people just put the games in a bag and handed me a receipt and said, here you go, I didn't pay. So I don't know if it's someone paid for me or what, but I didn't pay for any of these games. I'll show you what I got when I get back. Pretty solid pickups if that's the case. All right, so before we get started with the full recap of everything I picked up, I did want to talk about the situation with the pawn shop, the last one I went to. So essentially what happened is I walked in there and looked at the case and there were some pretty solid games that I wanted to pick up, mostly to flip because I knew they were valuable, but you know, I figured this pawn shop is pretty good to me. I'll talk to them, see if they can negotiate and you know, we'll see if we can get, get a deal done. Uh, but the main person who was in charge was dealing with another customer. So one of the other employees grabbed the games that I wanted, took them behind the counter and was waiting for her to be finished so we could um, take care of my stuff. It was taking a really long time. I think I stood there for a good 20 to 30 minutes just waiting for them to be done which they were having a good time having a nice conversation so you know I wasn't being impatient or anything I was just waiting waiting as long as I can she kept telling me you know I'll be there in a minute I'll be there in a minute eventually the guy finally cashed out and she walked over to I'm assuming the item that he purchased which was a little ways away from the counter as she did this the other employee went behind the counter took the games that I was looking at, put them in a bag, handed me the bag and handed me a receipt and said, here you go, have a nice day. I did pay. So kind of a weird situation. I did leave though, because I didn't do anything. I was just handed a bag and told, all right, you're good. So I don't know the situation. I think it was just a mis miscommunication, but I got four games for free and these are really good games. So we'll get to those towards the end of this recap, but uh, you'll see what I mean. I like to consider that kind of reverse karma for what happened to me at the beginning of the day where I lost out on a ton of three cent games at Walmart. Maybe this is kind of, well, you didn't get those, but here's these instead. I guess that works. All right, so I'm going to, like we always do, go over the games, every single game that I picked up today, how much I paid, how much they are worth. And then at the end, I'm gonna do something a little different. I'm gonna throw in total cost and total value. So you can kind of have an idea of how much I spent as opposed to how much everything I picked up is worth. Kind of a little, it'll make it a little more interesting for you. So first game, and I picked up two of these from Walmart. We have Monster Motocross 2. 
This was my three cent game. I got two of them. One is to flip. It's already on the eBay store. And then this one I'm going to keep. As you can see, it was marked at $20, 1993. But in reality, it was three cents. The game is worth $15. So essentially, I'm going to be able to make almost $15 on a three cent game, assuming it sells. I think I put it on my eBay store at 10. So it's a little cheaper, but I mean, still, that's solid for three cents. I'll take it. But the game might be fun. I haven't played a BMX game in a long time, so we'll see. Next, we have Citadel Forged with Fire on the PS4. This was a clearance game for $11. It's only worth 10, so I lost a dollar on it, but I haven't really seen this game anywhere else. It looks interesting. I mean, it's a brand new game sealed on PS4 that I paid $11 for. Not terrible, could be a fun little weird indie game. I have a lot of games that I've never heard of before that I might play on the channel. This I can add to the pile. So 11 bucks, not terrible. Next one, Far Cry 5 on the Xbox One. I paid $20 for this. Notice this one is opened. The reason why is because the disc was loose, which I didn't realize until after I walked out of the store. However, the disc is in perfect shape, so no concerns there but it was annoying that the disc was loose. Um, but Far Cry 5, I paid $20 for it and it is worth 11. So I lost a bit of money on this one as expected, but it's a new copy. I know it's gonna work. So now I can actually play Far Cry 5 before I play New Dawn. So pretty cool. Now I have the complete Far Cry collection. I have every single Far Cry game that has come out so far. Pretty happy with that. All right, next we're gonna move over to our first pawn shop, which is Cash America. I picked up a grand total of four games and overall the value I did was pretty solid on these. I don't think they were like amazing value, but I definitely did pretty well overall. So first off we have Dark Souls 3 on the Xbox One. This one I lost a little bit on. I paid 10, it's only worth eight. You don't really see this game for cheaper than $10. So I figured I'd pick it up. It's complete, the disc is in good shape. So now I have Dark Souls 3 and Dark Souls 1. I just need Dark Souls 2 and I've got the full Dark Souls collection. So that's pretty cool. Next up we have Hitman 2 on the Xbox One. Again, complete, looking good. I just picked up season one on PS4. So now I have the second one as well. This one I did much better on, I paid 10, it is worth 15. This one again, I picked up mostly because I have a not nearly as good condition copy and I wanted to get this one because it's pretty much mint. We have Medal of Honor Warfighter on the Xbox 360. As you can see, this one is complete. It's got both discs. Both discs are basically flawless. It's got all the inserts. It's got the online pass and the codes. I'm pretty sure these don't work anymore. They might though, you never know. I might try them. We'll see. It's a nice complete copy of this in its original box in great shape. I paid two bucks, it's worth five, and I guess I'll get rid of my other copy. But yeah, I like this, pretty solid, $2. Lastly, and this one actually was much better than I expected it to be. <laughs> we have the original MX Unleashed on the original Xbox. This game, it's kind of a classic. There's a whole franchise about MX versus ATV and all that. This is the original came on the original Xbox. The case has seen a little better days. There's some damage on the back, but it is uh, in pretty good shape. It is missing the manual, but it's got everything else. Goes for about eight bucks on the original Xbox. So not bad, I'll take it. I've only paid two bucks. All right, next we're going to Value Pawn. I only picked up two games, but I did do some negotiating and I'm pretty happy with the deal that I was able to negotiate. Uh, originally, the first game I picked up was $8 and the other game was 10. I was gonna put back the $10 game. They're like, I'll give it to you for eight. So I'm like, okay. And it turned out the second game, they didn't even have it. They had the case, but no game. So they said, hey, we'll go pick out another game and uh, we'll see what we can do. I did, this one was worth a lot more according to them, but I was able to get him to honor his original offer and give it to me for eight which is a slam dunk for the game I got. Uh, so first off, we have Mud Runner on the Xbox One. It looks like an interesting, like extreme off-road racing game. I don't know, it could be fun. It's not a game I see all the time. Eight bucks, Mud Runner is worth 14. So again, solid value return. 
for what I paid. And then the other game, which I was able to negotiate. Now granted, the case is not in great shape and the disc was just out. I was able to kind of fix it, kind of. It's, it's still not in great shape. We have Final Fantasy XII, The Zodiac Age. This is a remaster of the PS2 game. Uh, they were originally wanting $18 for this, but the case is absolutely trashed. The art's messed up, the case was janky. I kind of fixed it. The disc is in good shape at least. They sold it to me for eight bucks, which is pretty solid because this game is actually worth 16. So I basically doubled value for what I paid. So pretty happy with that. All right, now we get to the fun stuff. So these are the four games I picked up at La Familia that I was given for free, essentially. And you'll see what I mean when I'm kind of shocked that this happened. I don't think it was intentional. I think it was a mistake, but you know what? I'll take what I can get. So most of these I got to flip, but uh, some of them I might keep, we'll see. So the first game is WWE 2K14 on the PS3. Now, you wouldn't think this would be worth much. It's worth a lot more than you think it is. Uh, this game is worth $17 on the PS3. That's why I picked it up. <laughs> Easy flip. I am missing the manual, but the disc is in good shape. The case is in good shape. So $17 game for free, take it. But that's not it. Next, since I picked up Minecraft Story Mode Season 1, the last time I went to this pawn shop, I doubled back and picked up Minecraft Story Mode Season 2 on the Xbox One. So pretty much anything Minecraft is worth a good amount of money. I figured that this one is worth a good amount of money. The season two complete game, which this is complete, although the case is a little damaged, but it is complete. It's worth $19. Didn't pay a dime for it. Pretty happy with that. Here are the two that are really interesting. Those are good. Those are worth a lot of money, but these two kind of shocked me in terms of finding them and getting them for free. Super Paper Mario on the Wii. It's a first party Wii game. Now this game is not complete. It is missing the manual, but it does have one of the inserts. Uh, the disc is in really good shape. This is worth $17. So again, really good value considering I paid nothing. <laughs> Even if I paid for them, I'd still get pretty good value. And then this one, this one was hidden behind Super Paper Mario. They have that one on display and they had some other games. Now there was one I didn't pick up. I probably should have. I haven't really looked at what it's worth, but this one I figured, yeah, I'll pick it up probably to keep. Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess on the Wii. Now this is the Nintendo Selects version, so it's not quite worth as much, but it's Legend of Zelda on the Wii. It's worth $15 complete, which this one is complete. It's got everything. It has all the inserts. The disc is in really good shape. So definitely did well on that. And again, I paid nothing. Last two things I wanted to show you were Amazon pickups. And I ordered these last week. One of them was to complete a set. And the other one, morbid curiosity, but also it's a game I've had on my radar for a long time. And I could pick up a new copy, which considering what it is, it's not often you can find new copies of this but we'll get to that in a sec. First off, as you know, last week I picked up Deadly Premonition 2 on the Nintendo Switch. Uh, that game's worth a lot of money, but I wasn't just gonna play the second one without playing the first one. So now I have Deadly Premonition Origins. This is a port of the original Deadly Premonition on the Nintendo Switch. Paid 34, it is worth 34, so. Again, fairly uncommon game, but Amazon still had it in stock. So I figured, you know what? I'm gonna pick it up now while I know I can get it. There you go. So pretty happy with that. Last game and this one, I'm gonna keep it sealed for now just because it's not very often you find sealed Xbox 360 games like this. I do wanna play it though, cause it looks really wacky and fun. We have a brand new sealed copy of Lollipop Chainsaw on the Xbox 360. I got this from Amazon, it was $18. Uh, this game is worth 20. So I paid less than what it's worth for a sealed copy. And again, it's not backwards compatible. So I'm probably just gonna keep it sealed for now. And eventually I'll play it if I don't end up reselling it for way more. But like right now, I think I'm just gonna keep it sealed. 
It looks like a lot of fun. I've heard this game is really enjoyable. Also, apparently James Gunn is involved. I had no idea that was the case. And of course, it's also suited 51. Looks fun. So now I have a sealed copy of it. So probably Pup Game Salt. Quite a stack of games. I think I did pretty well considering everything that I had to go through today. It was a weird day. We had some highs of getting free games and finding games that are worth way more than what I paid for them. And then we had lows of losing out on a jackpot of three cent games from Walmart. But in the end, that's part of the journey when it comes to game hunting. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose big, but it's all part of the fun. So there you go. That is gonna do it for this episode of The Bargain Game Hunter. Thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed it. You enjoyed this video and wanna see more of them, be sure to hit that subscribe button and click that notification bell. That way you know when new videos drop. That's gonna do it, thank you for watching and I will see you next time on The Bargain Game Hunter. Bye bye